Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ralph with IMS3D. Um, today we're going to use Lightburn to create an image. Well, we'll create a design. The image is kind of created um, in Bing Image Creator using AI. We're going to take that, bring it into Lightburn, create like a, a design for a shirt, but you can use it for other things. It's not just going to be for a shirt. Uh, you can use it for cutting boards, whatever you want to. I mean, it's up to you. But today it's just creating an image and um, we're not going to use the Falcon 2 to cut it or engrave anything today. This is all just about um, creativity. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I thank you and let's get started. All right, now that we're inside Lightburn, we're going to go ahead and um, bring in the gentleman. I have him in my art library. We'll go into my random clip arts. And here he is in all his glory. Got a man smoking a cigar, holding a spatula in an apron with a shirt and tie. I mean, that's how I grill. I don't know about you guys, but I grill like that all the time. This is why we call him the gentleman. I am going to make sure he is grouped together. Uh, first thing we're going to do is add some text. We're going to use the typical, you know, Godfather font. And we're going to call him the Grill Father. It's original, I know. First off, we don't like that font. I am going to align it to the left. Then I'm going to find the font I want. And the vertical spacing, I am going to shrink that. It's too much. Wrong way. Uh, hello. That looks about good. We are going to take this font. Going to line it up with his left arm, which is actually his right arm, the opposite arm. And I'm going to bring the text down. Let me center it and then bring it down. I'm going to bring it down low enough where I could go ahead and add a offset about five or six. I want seven. We'll try six first. Highlight them both. Bring it up. That looks pretty darn good for what I want. Actually, I need to bring it up more. I am going to have to change that offset just a tad off. We'll bring it to a seven. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Had the finger in the wrong spot. That looks about where I want it. We'll go ahead and see what it looks like. We're going to take the offset and the gentleman, and we're going to boot lean them together. This is what I was worried about. So we're going to ungroup them. So let me grab everything. Ungroup it. So I could grab that little piece, delete it. Grab that little white space, delete it. There we have it. I'm going to go ahead and group them back together. We have our gentleman.
Next thing we're going to do is add something to the middle of the shirt here. I said shirt, it's apron. I have, let's see. Inside here. I have a Born to Smoke. That's kind of the text we're going to use. We'll come back to that one here in a minute. This one is I turn on grills. I smoke that. I kind of like that one. I smoke that. Let's go ahead and um, see how it looks. It should be just a little bit smaller. Kind of like that. So. This is kind of the way he wanted the shirt, but not with the, you know, the grill or anything like that. So let me ungroup this real fast. We are just going to drop this above him for now. And that below him. Take it, I'm going to group it. I'm going to shrink it down some. Same thing here, we'll group it, shrink it down a little bit. We will center it actually and just bring it straight down. Same thing with this, we'll center it. We'll bring that one up. So that's kind of what he's looking for, but I don't like the text at the top. Let's try. You're definitely going to need a different font for that because that's just horrible. Mm, that almost works out. Let's shrink it down. Bring it back to the center. Need to put it back to the middle. That's got a little lost there for a second. And I'll show you why. Because if it wasn't back in the middle, my um my curve dot, which is this thing right here was not there. And all you do is grab it and pull on it.
I definitely like that better. Not sure about the font yet, but we could scroll through and find something else. But I mean, that's not for you to sit here and watch me uh, try to figure the font out. I mean, you see the idea. You see what I'm doing here. Um, once again, not a difficult thing to do. I could change the spacing a little bit. I mean... Bring it back to zero there. And that's kind of um where we're going to sit for now. Um, like I said, I have too many fonts to go through. I'll, I'll figure out a font. I'll show you the end result when it's done. But this was more of a video on how to make something simple like this. And I'm going to do a series of these guys, I think with different sayings like that. I hope you found this useful. Uh, I hope, you know, I hope it helps you in your creativity, I guess you could say. I mean, I have very little creativity. I, but some people help me out and tell me, you know, try to do this or try to do that, and that's what I do. Um, once again, I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.